Today, I'm sending Logan Paul a custom Pokemon card and a secret letter to his house. They'll both be sent inside of a briefcase to California in time for his big Pokemon livestream on February 27th. And the secret letter is actually a pros and cons list as to why I should join Team Maverick. I'll be using the Pokemon card as a way to lure Logan's attention so I can send him the letter and ask to join. Clever girl. I'll be having this Pokemon card custom made in order to make it look as good as possible. In order to maximise my chances of Logan noticing it. Now I'd say there's about a 1 in a trillion chance that he actually allows me to join Team Maverick. That's this many zeros. That is a lot of zeros. Now that's about the same odds as a group of registers taking over the entire stock market just to prove a point. Oh, wait. Ah. So I then went about thinking what the best way to get Logan's attention was. And as I was peacefully watching a KSI video one day, I remember seeing him receive an awesome Dragon Ball Z card from someone. This was his reaction to it. Wait, what's Wait, hold the f What? I want that. How can I get that? How can I get this? Alright, mate. I followed you. We need a chat, fam. How can I get this? I want that. <laughs> That's so cool. And then I had an idea. What if I get a custom Pokemon card made for Logan? Because if there's one thing everyone knows about Logan Paul, is that he loves Pokemon. The Pokepets. <laughs> Logan has literally spent over three million dollars on Pokemon cards. He's basically dedicated the last six months of his life to hunting down these first edition booster boxes. For both financial and personal reasons. So clearly he cares about Pokemon. And this Pokemon card will be the way that I get his attention so I'm able to send him the letter. Okay, so here's my plan. The first thing I'm going to do is get in contact with the same person who made KSI's custom Dragon Ball Z card. And then I'm going to ask him if they can make a custom one for Logan Paul. Then once I get the card, I'm going to post about it everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere, hoping that Logan sees it. Then if he sees it and likes it enough, hopefully he'll DM me asking for it. Then I'll send it to him and along with the Pokemon card, I will also send my secret letter. That is the plan. Now I need to start designing the Pokemon card. I spent about the last hour in Photoshop and this is the final design. I've taken a lot of inspiration from the KSI Dragon Ball Z card. Let me get into some of the details. So on the left, you'll see Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. And then on the right, you'll see Kid Logan, Teenage Logan, and now Current Logan. The whole card is quite evolution-themed. Logan's talked a lot about the evolution of his life, so I think this will hopefully resonate with him a lot. And the overall card looks absolutely incredible, in my opinion. This is the final design that I've sent off to go and get printed, uh, so that, yeah, hopefully this looks good enough so that it will blow up on social media, Logan sees it, and then I send the Pokemon card to his house. I've got confirmation that the order has now been dispatched, and even better yet, the estimated delivery time is February 16th to February 17th, which is either tomorrow or two days from now, which is excellent news, which means that I can start stage two of the plant very, very soon. Now, I would have hoped to have the card earlier in order for comfort, because remember, this schedule is incredibly tight. There is no room for error. Now, I also haven't seen any actual physical picture of the card. I don't know whether it's going to look great or awful, but I'm really hoping that it looks good. But we're going to have to make an adjustment. I can't send it via briefcase case because it would take too long and wouldn't get there in time. So I'm going to have to send it by letter. Letter gets there much faster and will get there in about five days. Now in theory it should get there by February 23rd but due to the illness it may take a little bit longer. In theory it works but it is tight. So all I can really do now is hope and pray that it gets to me on time and then it gets to Logan on time. What? Logan's leaving California? He's moving to Puerto Rico? Oh, I'm going back to bed. Yep, that's true. I just looked at the latest Impulsive episode and it is true that Logan is leaving California. 
Ah. Now, having watched the entire podcast, he never said a date which he's going to move to Puerto Rico. But what they did say is they've spent the last week scouting it out as a potential place for him to live. So unless he's going to move his entire life from LA to Puerto Rico in two weeks, I don't think this will affect my plan. I think the Pokemon live stream will probably still take place in LA, which is great for me because I have no idea how to say anything to Puerto Rico, and I know his address in LA. Now, on February 15th, the card had arrived. I was so excited because it was so nerve-wracking, waiting, worrying if this was going to arrive on time. And it had finally got here. <laughs> We've got it. We have the card. Finally, after a week of waiting for it in the post, we finally have it. We can go and send this to Logan, and hopefully it still gets there by February 27th for his Pokemon live stream. But I'm so, so glad to have this now. Now I'm going to unbox this. This is the first time seeing the physical card. I've only seen the design that I've sent. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's So let's open it. Oh my gosh. That. Oh, look at that. Look at th It looks incredible. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. Look at that. That is insane. I'm going to put it back in its sleeve now because I don't want to damage it, but it looks incredible. And there we go. It is now back in its sleeve. It looks in absolutely incredible. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. It's not looking... It reflects really weird on camera, but it looks insane. <laughs> Now I'm going to stop writing the letter to send to Logan. In the letter, I'm going to list all the reasons why I should join Team Manfred. Because don't forget, the purpose of this letter is to ask Logan if I can join. So I'm going to list all the reasons why he should let me join. And just a reminder, the odds are so, so slim that it's virtually impossible. But I'm going to try anyway. Here's a time lapse of me writing it. Alright, the letter's now in the envelope. Now the only stage left is actually sending the letter and the Pokemon card to Logan's address, which I'm going to do tomorrow. Now that I have the card, we can enter stage two of the plan, which is posting about the card everywhere on social media. I'm going to make a YouTube video, TikTok, Instagram, post it on Twitter. <laughs> now, if you're a subscriber, you may have already seen the video that I'm about to make. And if you aren't a subscriber, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. My main goal here is to try and get Logan to see the card. Hopefully it gains enough traction on social media platforms so that Logan does see it. Unfortunately, because it was so late arriving, I'll only have about a day or two with the card before I have to package it up and send to Logan. Because once I've sent it, there's no getting it back. I went crazy posting about this card as much as possible. This is the final stage of the plan. It's actually posting the Pokemon card and letter to Logan's address. So I posted the letter successfully. Now I just had to hope and pray that it would get there on time. Mission complete. Now the day I posted it was the 23rd of February, which was literally four days until the live stream. Now on average, letters sent from the UK to the US take about four days to get there, which means by my current estimates, he will literally get the letter on the day of the live stream. This schedule is unbelievably tight right now, and any mistake could ruin the entire thing. It's now the 25th of February. It's been a few days since I've posted the letter and the card, and I'm having the letter tracked so I can see where it is in real time. So I'm really interested now to see where it is, so let's take a look. On the receipt, there was a code that I could use to track the package. I could enter it into the Royal Mail website and see where the letter and card were in real time. So I did exactly that, and this is what I found. Okay, so according to the Royal Mail track and trace, it is now leaving the UK. It is apparently in transit, so hopefully it'll get there pretty soon. This is good news. So far, it is going according to plan. Now I've got to hope and pray that it gets it on the 27th in time for the live stream. I'll check back in tomorrow, so hopefully it'll be in the US uh, and waiting to be delivered to Logan's house. Now, my social media campaign to get Logan to try and see the card may or may not have been successful. In truth, I don't know. As far as I'm aware, Logan did not see any of my posts or videos. However, what's interesting is a few of his closest friends did, and then didn't see just one of my videos. Mike May, like Logan's closest friend and business partner, did see four of my posts. His manager, Jeff, saw a few, and his friend, Evan, saw two. So I really don't know whether they privately talked about it in their house, or Mike showed it to Logan on his phone. I guess we'll never know. But it did gain a little bit of traction on social media. One of my Instagram posts got over a thousand views, and several several over a hundred, and even a few new subscribers to this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. But I call this campaign for Logan to see us on social media a mild success. Not an outrageous success, not a complete failure, but a mild success. 
Now all I have to wait for is the car to arrive at Logan's house and for Logan to see it. Which is in truth when I'll get the response to the question on my letter. I'll update you when I'm notified that the card has arrived at the house. It's now two hours away from the start of the live stream, and I still don't know whether the card has arrived yet. In my mind, I'm really hoping that Logan actually has it and he's going to talk about it on the live stream, but I really don't know the chance of that possibility at all. I still haven't received any update on the location of the card from USPS, but I'm really excited to watch the live stream. For me, there's a lot of feeling of deja vu, because actually one of the first videos I ever made on this channel was an analysis of Logan's original live stream, and just like everyone watching, I was really excited to see some of these old Pokemon cards I've just never seen before. I think there's going to be a lot of screaming, a lot of Charizards, and a lot of money made from this live stream. So I then watched the live stream for the full two hours, and honestly it was so much fun watching. With three Charizards, two million dollars, and a heck of a lot of screaming later, the live stream had ended. And unfortunately, unsurprisingly, my card wasn't there. This didn't totally surprise me, but it was still a little bit disappointing. Okay, I have some bad news. Now Logan's live stream has just ended, and according to USPS, the card still hasn't arrived, which is a little bit disappointing. Now this isn't the end of the world because we knew the schedule was tight. And tomorrow's Sunday, so it likely won't be delivered tomorrow either. So hopefully Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday next week it'll be delivered. I was starting to get a little bit worried. The reason why I was getting a bit worried is because I hadn't received any updates in over a week. And one dreadful thought entered my mind. I thought the card and letter might have been lost. And I cannot tell you how devastating it would be had it been. But thankfully, on March 3rd, I got a wonderful notification that the card had arrived at Los Angeles Distribution Center in California. So I knew the card was safe and very unlikely to get lost from here on out. And that it's only a couple miles away from Logan. The USPS tracking says it's in the Los Angeles Distribution Center, which means it will only go to one other place before it's actually delivered to Logan's mailbox. I've been getting notifications all day about updated locations, where it's moving to, all in real time. It should only go to one more place before it's actually delivered to Logan's house, and then when it opens his mailbox, my letter and card will finally be there. And then we will finally get the long-awaited response to my question, which is, can I join Team Maverick? I have another update on the location of the card and the letter. This is literally three hours later from when I last filmed. Ah, okay, so while editing this, I've realised I've been dumb and somehow lost the footage for this, but basically I said it's in a place called Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita is a smaller city inside of Greater Los Angeles, and it's even closer to where Logan lives. So I suspect this is the last place the card and letter will go to before arriving at Logan's house. I literally cannot wait for Logan to open my letter and react to the Pokemon card, and hopefully if Logan opens his mailbox, part two should be really, really exciting. Logan, if you're watching this, please, please open your mailbox. I've honestly spent so much time on this project, I I'm begging you at this point. Also, it'd be really appreciated if you could just subscribe. I've probably been editing this for over 200 hours. So clicking the subscribe button will just really, really help me out. Thank you so much for watching to the end, and I'll see you in part two.